Alright, um, against the Warlock. We'll mulligan all this. We want to find Pickpocket. We need to have pressure. Speaking of pressure, Blink Fox! Robo Anise, thanks for the cheer. These games are so long that I miss so many subs in them. Storm Templar with six months resubs says, What is the best Paladin secret? It's Avenge. What's Hallucination? We'll take a Pit Lord. Tess will cast a Pit Lord and it'll be glorious. I just want pressure from the Pit Lord here. Even Hearthstone has a staying power to be popular in 2040. Um, assuming that we haven't completely destroyed the Earth by then, which I think is actually pretty likely. Perhaps. Pretty grim, where's your optimistic spirit of humanity and good triumphing over evil? Dude, have you, like, seen the news lately? Ugh. What mess have you summoned me to? That's kind of annoying. We do have sap and bile spine, so. Whoa! Okay, so Gul'dan. Hey, lights out. With Tess means that we actually recast all of our rogue cards. I don't know that we'll get to that point, though, because we're just kind of beating this guy up at the moment. Best case scenario, we just sap this and he dies. Or he, like, plays a, you know, taunt that he got off Stonehill, and then we sap Vilespine and he dies. Cube. Alright. Cube Dark Pact. Okay, well, we gotta get ourselves a game. Sadly, sap kind of sucks now, because he does have this, though. I think I still want to sap Vilespine. I think I want to use the backstab here. Yeah. Oh, he's Doomguard, okay. Shadowbolt this into Minstrel. Test. That's my whole plan here. My whole plan now, after it was initially just beating him up and then he had Skull into Void Lord Cube Pact. My plan has transformed into alright, well we're gonna we're gonna do this crazy, awesome, powerful thing. Oh, blood Mage Minstrel. There's a vile spine. He's not tapping. I wonder what that suggests about his hand. I mean, maybe it means he has, like, another Void Lord in hand, and he just want, he doesn't want to hit a Doom Guard, he has to hit the Void Lord, or vice versa. He has a Doom Guard, doesn't want to hit a Void Lord. We'll play this. Hey, attack this in here. Out. Makes it better against fire. No, he didn't have anything. Okay, interesting. Oh god. Well, we have Vanish. Somewhere. But it's not very good against this. Yeah. There's Vanish. 
Will these guys die if I vanish? What is the order? He has five cards in hand. These guys are the last things in play, or were these? I mean, I gotta get this guy out of here too, so... I think I wanna draw for my Thalnos first. One, two, three, four, five. So, the cube is last? So will, will, I, will the cube actually pop and give him Void Lords? I actually don't even know. Okay. Well, one of them popped. There is a method to my madness. All right. That could have been a lot worse. After I become Gul'dan, my rogue cards are gonna give this durability. I attacked with the Minstrel because I didn't want both of his Void Lords to pop. I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want the board to be a bunch of stuff. Yes. Oh, yes. They'll serve well, now this is gonna kill me. Can I afford, like, Gul'dan will give me a pit lord. This can get him. No, there's not another void lord for him to get. No, there's another doom guard though. All right. So now we, now we play blood river, and Tess is gonna actually. Oh my god, Tess is gonna cast vanish. Tess is going to cast vanish. Why does Tess cast Vanish? Because now she casts all things from another class. I am now a warlock. So now Tess is gonna cast all of my rogue cards. Tess will just bounce herself and I'll be able to vanish literally every turn. I wonder if this is gonna work out. If I'm just gonna be able to keep vanishing every turn, replaying Tess and hero powering my opponent. So this is the last thing played. Do I want to hump this? Okay, so he has seven cards. I want this to go back to his hand. I can kill like these two, like attack here, to, like hit this, so no, no death rattles go off, and he'll burn a card. She can't vile spine herself. The vile spine is a, is a battle cry. You have no idea what so this is gonna cast all my rogue cards, including vanish. Oh, well, it will recast, recast my weapon anyway. It will hit you. All right. Your turn. So we have recursive tests. Every rogue card is going to give me... Oh, I guess, I guess it doesn't matter because of the test because we'll get a new weapon. Umbra, okay. So it's a doom guard. Okay. Uh huh. This was the first thing in play. This was the second thing in play. First, second. There's no more demons in his deck, right? So if I vanish, when I test, this will get burned. I can kill this too. Hey, lights out. So now we'll play the test. These don't really matter. No idea what I'm so, here we go. Vanish. Oh no, I lost my Tess! It cast the other thing first. It cast the, uh, the hallucinations first. I got screwed. Alright, well. We'll just deadly, deadly humph you. I didn't want to double deadly poison first because it could overwrite them with the weapon because the order is all switched, right? The order's random for Tess. It'll cast the new weapon. Hopefully this just gives him a bunch of Voidwalkers. You got a Doom Guard, okay. Well. Hey, lights out. Um, 
This is Devile Spine? And this. I'm just gonna kill all your stuff, I think. Yeah, like, I guess if I had cast the Deadliest first, then I would have been less likely to end up missing the test on that. But I mean, I had to cast both of the hallucinations first in order for that to happen. That's like not super likely. I don't know. I, mean, I think I'm still in a totally reasonable spot. Wait, did he just have no demons? All his demons are gone. The Deadlies would recast, but the weapon recasts too. That's the problem. The Deadlies recast, but like, you may recast them in, the, in a, like a, a order that you don't want them to. Which is the reason I was like, okay, I want to ensure that I have the weapon, and there we go. We have out-warlocked the warlock, thanks to recursive test vanish. <laughs> Shiro's excited.